When doing research for our target audience, we were primarily focusing on the genres included in our film, and so we looked into some movies within the psychological thriller genre. We researched into what movies did best in terms of box office charts, as we wanted our movie to appeal to a wide demographic. Movies such as Gone, Awake and Prisoners came up as one of the most popular, and they all had an age rating of between 15 to 18. However, we wanted our film to appeal to a younger audience as well as an older audience, so we took inspiration from the movie Taken, which had done significantly well in the box office and made a total of over $226 million. Taken was rated a 12, so we decided that our film would not involve anything too explicit in terms of content and language, which is why we resulted in rating our film a 12A. This is to maximise youth audiences and we use 20th Century Fox as our distributor because they widely produce films globally for family audiences, which allows them to reach out to a wider audience. Overall, our film appeals to a wide mass audience. It appeals to all ethnicities as we have an oriental actress playing the protagonist. Although the protagonist is a female and she challenges the typical conventional role of a man, Males would still be interested as the protagonist is attractive and appealing to men. Typically, our film would appeal to heterosexuals as the stories revolve around a heterosexual couple. The reason for this is that it would attract a larger audience and heterosexuality is more widely accepted, although at the same time we are not excluding any other sexualities. Our audience would have to be educated so they can tell which part is a dream and which part is reality. And also they would need to be intelligent enough to keep up with the complexity of the storyline and piece bits together as it may play on people's minds too much and they may find it, find it difficult to understand. Our film is not targeted at a specific social class. This allows it to appeal to a wider demographic. Our film attracts the audience we intended it to because the genre itself is one that appeals to our target audience, early teens and over. They enjoy the idea of mystery and something that psychologically plays on their minds and challenges their intelligence. The music used in our film addresses the audience into the film because for the dream sequence we used a soundtrack which had a wide range of dynamics and has an offbeat rhythm which creates a sense of unease for the audience. The music also guides the audience on how to feel. For example, in the bedroom scene, the music totally contrasts to the music in the dream sequence. It's very slow paced, calm, and uses very few instruments. This is so the audience have a better understanding of the film, as we have the voiceover playing at this part. However, our film is not reliant on the voiceover. The sound effects used in our film also addresses the audience. For example, the sound of the gun shot creates jumps. This lures the audience in even more because you know you have them captivated into the movie. The fact that the opening scene ends on a mystery leaves the audience with questions. It leaves them intrigued and interested. They may also feel a bit of confusion, but in a good way, because they would want to watch the rest of the film to clear up that confusion. I had also used social media to get a response from my peers, and ultimately we seem to have got positive feedback. For our film opening, we decided to use our own camera. We used an Olympus, as this takes HD videos which helped our opening look more professional. We decided against using the school flip cameras because the quality is quite poor and it's very difficult to play back digitally. Also, if we used school equipment, we would be restricted with our location choices as we cannot take school property out of sight. But as we used our own camera, we were able to be very flexible with the locations. As we had to edit on the Macs, we had to use a program called Final Cut Pro. We had to do all the editing and title sequences on this program, along with all the special effects too. We used effects such as cast and highlight on the dream sequence to achieve the look that we wanted, which was sort of uneasy and quite vivid, as we wanted the audience to not know whether it was a dream or something that actually happened, and if Annabelle is just getting flashbacks. We slowed down and sped up a few shots such as some of the running shots, as the actress was not running as fast as we wanted. 
We also slowed down a shot of her jumping over the camera as we thought it would make it look more dramatic. While editing, we also had to manage the diegetic and non-diegetic sounds as sometimes we could hear aeroplanes in the actual footage and we did not want this in our opening. As our genre is thriller slash action, we understood that music plays a very vital part in creating the atmosphere we needed. We got our music from a website called Free Stock Music and the sound effects from Free SFX. The sound effects such as the gunshot and the alarm clock really helped make our opening more interesting. Also, when we played back the footage of the alarm sound, it was too quiet and we happened to find the right sad sound on Free SFX, so it helped amplify the effect that we needed to have. While doing our preliminary task, we had certain rules that we needed to follow, such as the 180 degree rule. But during our actual opening, we could go over that and expand our angles and shots. When you compare our preliminary and our film opening, you can see that we have improved a lot as we explored a lot of different shots that we did not in our preliminary task. This shows how we have developed through these past months with our editing skills, but also the camera work. As we had more time and resources, we improved our mise-en-scene a lot. For example, we thought a lot about the costume and makeup, and also props that we had to use, such as the gun and alarm clock. We asked for advice from teachers about the costume to see if it fitted the genre. During the filming of our opening, we tried sticking to the rules so that we could maintain consistency. The preliminary task helped us understand and apply basic techniques in order to achieve the best results. The preliminary was only allowed to be 30 seconds long, so this was practice for our opening, as we also had a time limit for that. Overall, the preliminary task has given us a basic idea on how to edit and film the film opening. We then took those ideas and techniques and applied it to our film opening.